This is a binding resolution. This is a Security Council resolution under Chapter 6. Had it been under Chapter 7, it would mean that also the United Nations uh, Security Council would have been able to authorize force to implement it. But it was under Chapter 6, so no such mechanism is included in it. That, however, does not mean that it is not binding. It certainly is. It's only the United States or the Biden administration that has taken this position. And this has tremendously angered a lot of the other members of the council, as well as the UN as a whole. And I'll get into that a little bit deeper. But first to say, this was a huge missed opportunity for the administration because they finally, finally allowed a resolution six months into this conflict, 32,000 people dead, to come out uh, uh, with a resolution calling for a ceasefire and an uh, immediate and unconditional release of all of the hostages. And that was a moment that could have been used to bridge some of the differences that have been growing between the United States and the other council members. But instead of building on that, the administration essentially then backtracked and further infuriated members by making the statement that this is non-binding, which is critical because it's not just incorrect, it actually undermines the authority of the UN Security Council uh, and the UN as a whole, at a time when the administration otherwise is talking about the need for a rules-based international order, et cetera, et cetera. So this is highly problematic. I think their own goal, uh, quite uh, unfortunate, mindful of the fact that they finally had taken a step in the right direction, and then they undermined it.